What's up, everyone? Here we are looking at the Animoy boss for Crusade. Uh, we are still in Evil Abyss, unlike last time, where after Sira, I got kicked out of Evil Abyss and went back to floor 232. But this time, I was ma I made sure to drink all my soda cans, so I stay in uh, Evil Abyss. Uh, currently, I'm rank 2, unfortunately, but you know what? This boss is pretty hard. And uh, the strategy on this boss is, uh, it hasn't changed much, honestly. Uh, my last video, the strategy is still the same, it's just that we have new meta units, but overall, we're still doing the same thing, right? We're still using... We're still using... Abel to tank the interruptions, and we're still using, uh... Fire Adon, because he's meta, right? So, in a team where your meta is Fire Adon, Flame Chung Li, Rich Hana, and Street Poison, right? If you replace one of those units, you replace... You replace Street Poison, alright? Because Flame Chung Li's, uh... Flame Chung Li's um, support is just way, way too good for a, for a fire team, right? Uh, other than that, um, the EX moves are relatively the same, right? We still got um, EX Virgil and Breath of Rage. Now, the Akuma EX, now those are interchangeable with like, you can use that, you can use probably Vigilante, you can use the EX Kami Vega, or whatever best EX you have, right? Unfortunately, the replay I have is using the EX Kami Vega, so the damage on the replay is not going to be as high. Uh, but uh, ultimately, you, you would use probably whichever EX move gives you the most amount of damage here. So right now I have 1.591 billion. First place got 1.827, but he's like way stronger than me, right? So uh, I think the, the the cap on this boss is probably gonna be around 2 billion something, I'm not sure, because I'm not at that level yet. Uh, but if he replaced his EX Kang Vega with like, you know, something stronger, then I'm pretty sure he could easily broken 2 billion, right? But the way this fight works is I have a replay. Here's my replay. This is a replay of uh, me using EX Canyon Vega. So this damage on this replay is going to be a little, bit, a little bit less than what I've been running uh, for my rank 2 run. But uh, basically the, the run's going to be the same, okay? So the biggest difference here uh, is that we have Flame Chung Li in the main line instead of in tag like we normally have. Now the reason we want we run Flame Chung Li in tag is because her FS30 uh, does this little trigger move, right, which kills time. And if you have her in the main line, then the, every time she triggers FS30, right, it kills so much time uh, that the street poison buff will fall off. It's, it's a little it's a little weird and it's really really annoying. But every time you have to wait for the trigger and you have to wait for her and Street Poison is waiting for you to activate a combo and you have to like juggle between like waiting for a combo and for her sex to not fall off and it's just, it's just, it's just a, really a lot to handle. So that's why mainly she's in tag. But because Street Poison's not here, she's on the main line. Now if my, if my Flame Chun-Li did not have FS30, she would probably always be in the main line and Street Poison will always be in the rear. Now this replay, I'll show you exactly why you want Flame Chun Li to not be in the tag and for her to have FS, not FS30. Okay, so let's do this replay. Now, uh, the most important thing about Flame Chun Li is that she can apply flame penetration just from her auto attacks. Like, look at this right here. All right, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Now, there's something uh, very interesting I want to point out right here. I activated EX Kanye Vega right before. Um, Animoy did a special, and right before um, Flame Chun Li hit him with an attack. There are some instances where you can get two stacks of Flame Penetration just from activating uh, EX Kami Vega while she's attacking. It doesn't always happen, it feels like it's like 20% of the time, but sometimes you might get two stacks. It's weird, I know, but either way, we, you know, we're getting Flame Penetration here just from auto attacks, right? Otherwise, you would not have gotten this if she was in tag, okay? so. At around this point, I'm going to wait for her to uh, get one more attack in before I activate the combos. Right there. And then we start activating. We're at 16 already off the bat. We start these combos. We activate Able. And then now, anymore, what he does is every time he gets hit by like X amount of hits, I think it's 10, uh, he counterattacks with like this wind move. It interrupts everyone and does a lot of damage. Okay. But because you have Able, uh, it. The able shield absorbs all that, you don't get interrupted, and you continue with the combo, which is why Abel's is so important in this in this uh in this fight. Now look at this. One combo. One combo in, we're already at 25 flame penetration. You know, you know how strong that is? One combo. Okay, that means three, two combos, you get like 30 something, four combos, you're at 40 something. No, no, two combos, you're at 30 something, three combos, you're at 40 something. Five combo, four combos, you're at 50 stacks. If you can get 
50 stacks in four combos, you're in a really good spot. Okay, so you cannot you cannot really achieve that if she was in tag. So right here. And the problem, the problem every time he interrupts is he gets a 20% bar, right? Which makes him attack more often, but it doesn't really matter because you have Able. Okay, now the, the scary part is right here, right? Where, you know, you're activating Able, he's counterattacking, right? And he's, you know, revenging with his uh, win, win move. But this part right here, he's gonna, like, shoot three, three tornadoes. Now, this is when you activate EX Virgil, right? Right before he does that. Sometimes you're able to tank that with Able. Uh, it's not consistent. It's actually like the, the timing is a little weird uh, because you have to time Able with his counterattacks and time Able with the win thing. But sometimes you can actually uh, make him not counterattack, right? If you cast Able right before he counterattacks, no, if you cast Able right before he does his normal attack and you do the 10 hits, he won't counterattack. It's the timing's a little hard, but it is possible for him to not counterattack, right? Just do it when he's attacking his normal attack. But that kind of ruins the timing on everything. So, and another thing is, right, you kind of want Able, you kind of want EX Virgil to work at the same time because if EX Virgil uh, makes it so that your HP goes down to like 1% or 20% in this case because I have EX Virgil level 2, then your Breath of Rage will do more damage, right? Because your Breath of Rage does more damage uh, at level 3 or 4, I think, I forgot what number it was. But it does more damage, right, the less health you have. So, which is why it's very important for EX Virgil to work, and it's very important for you to have low health. So, yeah, your Breath of Rage does more damage. Okay, so, the scary part right here is right here now. You have 50 stacks of Flame Penetration, you have 20 stacks of, uh, of a Firewall, alright? The hard part is just making sure that the Able is actually protecting you from every time he attacks, which gets a little random, like a Flame Chun Li die, look at that. So, that means Fei Long. Fei Long's um, assist is no longer active. I, sh I probably should have put Fei Long on Rishana here, right? But either way, Right, you know, you make sure you get to the end, right? So you do a maximum amount of damage. Now the scary part here is that the more supers you do, the less time you have to do damage. Now what I mean by that is every time you do a super, uh, the the countdown the countdown of the game still still happens. Okay, but every time you do a super, right, the game slows down. Like you slow down, the damage you do slows down, but the timer keeps going. So if you keep spamming supers, right? then it is very possible that you do less damage overall, even though you got more supers in the end, right? So it's a little bit of juggling how much damage you do, how often you do it, how slow you do it, right? Now, if you activate Breath of Rage, you have 20 stacks uh, Firewall, 50 stacks Flame Penetration, then you probably want to, like, you probably want to, like, just slow down on the supers, um, which is why, like, sometimes it's very often that you can do more supers, but do less damage in the end, right? Now, half of that is also, like, um, you know, RNG, right? Like, my dots didn't tick as fast, or, like, you know, I didn't get 20 firewall stacks as fast as he did, or whatever, so... Now, this run with the 1591, uh, I think I did use Akuma EX, and I think I did put a uh, Fei Long on Richanda. Yeah, I did. Okay, so, so basically the run is the same, right? I'm just gonna fast forward this if I could. Can I, can I fast forward this? Is it good? This is not a replay. This is a replay, but not a replay replay, right? So... Uh, I think no one died in this, but, you know, I didn't activate Kami Vega early on, I just activated Akuma, like, near the beginning of my combo chain, and that's how I got, uh, 15, uh, 1.59. Uh, but either way, you know, the run's relatively the same, um, and that's pretty much it, right? Uh, I'm doing a little bit more damage here than I did without the EX Kami Vega, because, uh, I'm using a better EX move. Uh, but... And I think I ended up stacking less flame penetration early on, because right now I'm at 47, instead of 50. Uh, so I definitely have uh, room, wiggle room for more damage. Uh, it's just that this was just not a great run. But it's also a good run, uh, so... But yeah. That is the fight. I think I got rank 2, unfortunately. It's okay. It's okay. Rank 1 is really, really strong. <laughs> it's it's kind of really, really hard for me to catch up to him. <laughs> Okay, but next boss is Seer. I think I already made a video for Seer. I think that's all the videos for... No, no, no. I'm still missing... I'm still missing... Bethorak. I think I missed Bethorak because I ran him too late or something like that. Uh, but I'll get Bethorak next time uh, that boss comes around. New strat, by the way, for Sira. Hmm, leaderboard last week. Damn the man. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember for Sira. Strat is the same, RNG is very high, but we're running uh, instead of can I do a replay on this? Instead of Fei Long, we are running Able. Okay, the reason why we're running Able instead of Fei Long right now, Fei Long, remember, Fei Long gives you 12% more fire damage. But, but 
if Abel is able to make you survive that last boom that she does, okay? If you survive that last boom, okay? Because Abel, right, you know, his shield's kind of random, but sometimes when it works, it always works. Uh, if you're able to survive that last boom, then you're able to get the final ticks of damage in. Now, remember, Fire Down does a lot of damage at the end, right? So if you're able to survive that last hit, and that's what Abel, that's what Abel does, then that whole percent from Fei Long doesn't matter, right? Because you're doing so much more damage from that last hit, which I think is like right around here, I think? Let me, let me, let me see. Okay, right here. Now, normally, right, you already activate EX Virgil. You would die right here, right, if you have Fei Long, but blows up. You live because of the Abel shields, right? And you're getting the last final hits of damage in, okay? I probably shouldn't have casted that because it slowed the game down. I probably got like two more ticks in. But either way, and that how, how I'm able to get like 200 more million in. Okay, now everyone else, they got a lot higher. Uh, let me see. They got pretty much the same ish score, right? Probably, yeah, pretty much the same ish score, right? So that, that the new strat for Sierra is don't run Fei Long, run Abel. But yeah, now Abel is just really, really good, right? So can't, I can't emphasize how good Abel is as an assist and as a character. Uh, so, but we'll probably see more of him. In the future, if not Fashion Sakura, which I do plan on using in the next next boss rush. But that's two weeks from now. But I hope you guys learned something and I hope to see you guys on the leaderboards. Have a good night.